Spider students, um, good morning. Welcome to my channel. This morning, I am going to share to you how to write the subsection in the research methods and uh, procedure of your research proposal, which is the sources of uh, data. Actually, in our format, the sources of data is the instrumentation. And uh, in the discussions of your sources of data, you need to consider, if you are, consider many things. If you are writing or if you are using a questionnaire or a questionnaire checklist, you need to consider these uh, presentations or items. First, tell the instrument. What are the component parts of the instrument? Then, uh, the next thing that you will tell is about the validation of uh, the instrument, which may either be uh, expert or content validation or pilot testing in order for you to determine the reliability coefficient of correlation and uh, of course the last one is the scoring system okay so that's for the questionnaire or questionnaire checklist or sorby form Okay. Another thing is when you will use a test or an examination as a measuring instrument, the same that you will do, tell that you will be using a test, then the development of the test you will describe how the test will be developed. Perhaps you will tell that you will develop first uh, the table of the specification followed with the development of test items. Then <clears throat> expert uh, validation. After expert validation, there will be revision. Then after the revision, you will do the pilot testing in order for you to do the item uh, analysis. Then the finalization of uh, your test. And of course, the scoring system. Don't forget uh, to discuss the scoring system of uh, the test. Now, for, for qualitative uh, research, there is also a need uh, for you to validate uh, the instrument which you will use. But, of course, if you will be using standardized test, uh, well and good, in this is what we call interview schedule, or when you will use uh, a structured interview, this is uh, very much important. There are, there, there are some cases wherein we borrow, we use ready-made instrument developed by a particular researcher or an author. Sometimes these are sold, they sell this um, instrument for you to use. But uh, there are some instruments which can be borrowed for use in your uh, research. Now the question is, what will you do? For me, it is necessary to write the owner or the author of that particular instrument. Just be courteous. It is not enough to acknowledge 
the author in the reference uh, section or in the discussions of uh, your sources of data because these people actually invested uh, their time their money and uh, efforts in crafting and validating the research instrument okay so again uh, there are three things which uh, you will discuss in this uh, sub section the first is you will tell the instrument tell how you develop or tell uh, the component parts and uh, the development of uh, the instrument then uh, the validation and the uh, scoring uh, system okay i hope it is very clear to you thank you very much and god bless you all